How you doing? Welcome back to Rusty Jeep. Today we're going to be talking about um, thermostat housing and high flow thermostat housing to be exact. This is a HESCO thermostat housing. Um, the company is out of Alabama. I tried to do some research. There's nothing on the box indicating made in China. Um, no markings on the item itself. So I can't 100% say that it's made in America. But I know the company is an American company. They do majority of the work in-house. So we're just going to go with a good feeling that this is made in America. And why we're going to use an open house, a uh, larger thermostat housing is we put on the last um, episode, I did the high flow water cooler. And now we're just doing the high flow thermostat housing. So we get as much cooling as easy as possible through this whole motor. Now with this thermo housing, thermostat housing, I am also using a Murphy thermostat. I am using a thermostat this is um, at 185. So that's not the standard thermostat that is meant for the Jeep. You, um, I could have gone with 180, but I, you can see my breath, it gets cold where I live. So 185 is as cold as I think I wanna go with the thermostat. What I did do is I did drill a hole on the top of the thermostat. And the reason being is when we place this thermostat in to the motor, that hole is going on top. And the reason we do that, this is gonna let any of the steam air pockets go through and you shouldn't have any problems with the burping of the system. And it's just safer for the motor. It used to be all of them had it. Nowadays, I, I notice a lot don't have it. All I did was put this in the drill press and quite easy, you could use a drill to do it. But I, re I recommend putting the hole through it and make sure that you deburr the back end when you do it. And don't forget, this was brought to you by Hesco Thermostat. Flows better than freaking me after a 12 pack of beer. I'm kidding, they're not sponsoring me. Okay, the next step, we're gonna be putting RTV on the thermostat housing and the block, the head itself. Now, a lot of people, you'll see videos of them say, just use a gasket, don't use the RTV. I wanna show you something. This is a brand new piece. And come in and zoom in on that. You can see that it's brand new, the imperfections in there still. And if you look at the block itself, this is an older block. Can you see this right here where my hand is pointing? Right here. Now I cleaned this out and I did everything possible. There's still imperfections. This is an older motor. So I am gonna use RTV with the gasket. Um, call me old school, you do what you wanna do. But I find that I have a lot less chance of not leaking when I do it this way. So that's what I'm gonna keep on doing. You do what you do. Okay. Freaking so cold, I see my breath and I'm even smoking. Cigarettes, cigarettes. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a little bit of RTV. This I happen to use on the thermostat housing and on the water pump, I tend to use blue RTV. Um, I don't use the black. Okay, now that we got the RTV on the head and we got it on the thermostat housing, uh, one thing that you do notice, normally I would clean this off a little bit more than I did. The reason I'm not is because the whole problem with this particular thermostat housing, how it sits in, is a lot of times when you put this in, it'll pop right out. And when you go to put this on, it's actually not sitting in there. So I actually leave a little bit of the RTV in there just I mean, there's, I wipe most of it down, but the reason I do that, hole is upward now, but if you look, it's sitting in there by itself. Normally, if you don't do that, let me go back down here. Normally, if you don't do that, put, leave a little RTV or put a little, some type of stickiness on there. When you're going to put this thing on, this has a tendency to fall down and it's not gonna seat well. And then you're gonna have a possibility of cracking a bolt. So hold, Look at that breath. Look, um, the hole is on top. This has all its RTV on there. Now we're gonna take our bolt, the two bolts, and I like to, we're gonna set this up. Larger bolt goes on top, 
right there. Oh. Smaller bolt goes on bottom. But you see how that, again, if you look, I've been, I'm not freaking out. I do not want that though. If you get a little RTV on the bolt, just wipe it off. Trust me, you don't want it in there because you want these bolts to sit exactly where they're supposed to. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line that up and call it a day. Also, what I'm doing is making sure that it's set because I did move it around. I'm making sure that it's set evenly. That way I know it's not gonna leak. Also, I know the thermostat's still sitting there the right way. Okay, we're gonna go right to the torque. In the book, this is listed at 13 pounds torquing. So right now this is eight pounds. So I'll start with eight pounds torque. And there's eight pounds. There's eight pounds. And we go up to 11 pounds now. These things can snap so easily, so just be careful. Trust me, out of experience. That is 11 pounds. That is 11 pounds. So we're at 11 pounds. I'm gonna let that sit for 24 hours and tomorrow I will tighten it to the 13 pounds. I just wanna bring you over here real close, take a look. I'm not sure if you can tell, but if you look around, you don't see super, if you look at my finger, there's no globs of RTV coming out. You look at my water pump I did recently, there is no globs coming out. Look at my oil, I mean, my timing truck cover. There is no globs coming out. RTV is meant to be a sealer. So remember that when you're using this stuff, don't go nuts. You don't have to. What you're using RTV to do imperfections in your block. So if you put globs of it on, it's actually not as good for the end result. So right now I'm happy with this. I'll let it sit for 24 hours. I'll retorque it and that's it that's the video pretty much getting to the manifold and the headers next but hope you enjoyed it like subscribe if you want to leave some comments if you have any questions that's what the comment section is enjoy the day talk to you later